all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so this all started about three weeks ago when i received this dell t3500 gaming computer or server actually my idea was to turn it into a gaming computer first thing i did was strip it completely down i took everything that i could out of the computer completely disassembled it I thought if I was going to do this I needed to take it apart which with the Dell all these little latches and stuff kind of help un tear it apart but anyway it was a lot of fun so the computer was originally going to be built like in a day or two but then i started to buy upgrade parts for it and of course i was like i need a case mod so i decided to case mod it uh eh, you got to work with what you got uh, and i kind of went for this like blue and black kind of beat up look you know, um, I wanted it to look old since the computer was old. I tell you what, you guys want to talk about proprietary, man. These motherboards, this motherboard is huge. It's awkward. It's heavy. But it works. And that's really that all that matters. Uh, this was the original hard drive that's in it. We're going to switch to a SSD. The RAM was only 2 gig sticks. We're going to put 4 gig sticks. I was going to use a 1050 Ti 4 gig card, but I decided to go with a much, well, about slightly faster GTX 960 4 gig card. And plus, this one has RGB all over it, so it'll go good with the theme. The original 12 volt fans i decided to switch out to some ago 120 millimeter fans to add a little color to the front of the case the captain power series by apiva i decided that i wasn't going to go with that i was actually going to go with a different apiva power supply uh, it's about 100 watts more and modular semi-modular plus there's rgb on the fan the original CPU was like a, a 3230 or something like that. I decided to buy a 5690. So that is a 6 core, 12 thread CPU. Um, 12 megabyte cache. At the time, around 2011, when this graphics card or that CPU was released, it was about a thousand bucks. Uh, this right here is my original idea to just kind of add a fan to the stock heat sink. And I actually thought it looked kind of cool. This is what I wanted to add to it. But I couldn't get the stupid back plate off. No matter what I did, it just it would not come off. And I was afraid to damaging the board. So I skipped the idea altogether. So I put the new CPU. I put the RAM. And I put the graphics card. I want to make sure that it runs before I put it in the case. Nothing worse than building a computer and it not working. So, yeah. Ah, it boots. Yay. Alright, in we go. Screw this down like this. Alrighty. So, after I reassembled the case time to build it power supply screw this in you know it was a lot of fun uh making this computer it was just going to be a fun project to uh to use out in the garage basically to watch internet or to watch youtube with that's really all i wanted to do um here i'm putting super glue to ensure that the fans didn't move and that was the cover right there that you see me putting on over the RAM. That's what brings in air. 
we're going to throw a little thermal paste on it and then mount the CPU cooler the stock one which is fine give it a good pull good deal all right let's plug up this uh, the only thing I would have to say was is that cable management is zero in this case but I kind of managed to uh, get everything to fit I really didn't know where to put the uh, hard drive or the SSD so I just kind of shoved it in there LED lights last thing to do add some bling and let's give it a star one we'll see make sure it boots or at least cranks we'll see here come on start up for me we're gonna run them LED lights here in just a second and yeah it looks good here we go all right boot <laughs> Thanks, brother. Have a good one, man. Yeah. All right, UPS.